Hi guys, I've had several requests to do a radio controlled pop pop boat. Uh, not a lot of point, you can't control the speed on it at all, all you can do is steer it. But I should take apart this old pop pop boat so I can reuse the copper coil. And I'll cut up this plastic milk bottle and use that as the hull. So we'll fit that coil near the back here somewhere and that will leave me a bit of room to actually put the radio control gear at the front. And then we'll see if it actually moves because they're very low powered. Even the good ones by Daryl Foster are still relatively low powered. You're not going to be causing a wake. Um, blowing other boats off the water with one at any time. I marked up the milk bottle by using a metal ruler just to go all the way around the outside so we got a constant height and then cut it with my knife and there we are. So we need to mount this at the back and then some radio gear at the front and we'll put a rudder at the back controlled by a servo and that should give us the steering. There we are, got the pipe in position. I'll just mix up some two-pack epoxy resin to glue it in and hold it still. I'm keeping this simple, that's the rudder just a piece of plastic cut from the milk bottle, bent paper clip, just attached directly to the servo, and then the servo will go on the back there, just hot glued in place. First thing you need to do is actually prime the motor by filling it with water. because otherwise it doesn't work at all. Right, so that's full of water. We now need to light the tea light. And this one, I've got three wicks in it to give us enough heat. And then we have to wait for it to warm up. So I've prepared a cup of tea and a cake while I'm waiting. Now we just sit back and wait. Hmm, that's some movement. Oh yes, we're moving. I'm going to switch the control on. <laughs> oh. 
There we go. The radio controlled pop pop boat. It's almost silent. Obviously my bath's not really big enough to do this. But if I took it out on a boating lake it'd just get blown away. That actually goes at quite a good speed for a pop pop boat. I'm quite pleased with that. Hardly had finished, hardly had time to finish me bun. But I think that'll do. That's proved it works. And just for fun. can make it go faster just by waggling the rudder. That'll do. Job done. Just in case the build was too quick for you, we've got a little radio receiver there, sitting on top of a pack of four AAA batteries that power it. Then we've just got a single servo with the rudder connected directly to it. And then the motor is that coil of copper tubing with a tea light underneath it. Tea light I'd modified to put three wicks into it so it gives extra heat just to make sure that there's enough heat going into that coiler tubing to 
heat up the water, turn it to steam, push it down the pipe where it condenses again and gets sucked back in again. Check out the video description, I'll put a full explanation of how a pop-pop boat works.